to our channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some Trader Joe's beauty products. First up, I don't actually have the container because I used it all, but I'll insert a picture and it's the Trader Joe's A Midsummer Nights Cream Moisturizing Cream Extra Dry Formula. Then it says unscented herbal blend with aloe, pH balanced. So you get 16 fluid ounces. It lasted me a really long time. The one thing I thought was weird was that this was on sale in the summertime. I think I bought it in like June and it lasted me up until like October and then I was all out. But it's really, really moisturizing. I mean, it says for extra dry skin, but it's super thick. So in the summer, I had to mix it with a different moisturizer so that it could like spread out more evenly. I feel like I would only recommend this lotion in the winter time when your skin is actually extra dry. I'm not sure why they sell it in the summer because it looks like a summer item. It smells very fresh and summery, but I think it's better for the winter. I did really like it. I felt like it moisturized my skin really well. I wish it was a little more thin because it was so hard to spread around I couldn't use it on its own but like for your elbows or knees or really dry spots I feel like you could use it on your own and I would totally recommend it and buy it again I would just only use it in the extra dry months not in the summertime like it seems like it should it's supposed to be used for Next up is another body product. This is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. You get eight ounces and I believe it was almost six dollars like five fifty maybe mm -hmm. somewhere around there and I really love Soap and Glory's The Righteous Butter, and it's like my ride or we die body do. butter. It's so good. It's so good for the winter because I feel like in the winter, our skin just like completely dries out and we really need body butter to moisturize it. So I was like, why not try this? I first saw the packaging. I love that you just open up the top of this like this and you don't have to unscrew it. It's just so convenient. And oh, just comparing it to the Righteous Butter again, that one you get 10 ounces for $15. So this is a much better deal. I will say I don't like it as much as I like the Righteous Butter as far as formula goes. The Righteous Butter is very creamy, so a little goes a long way. This is very thick, and I think that's because it's more natural. Like it says made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. So maybe like those ingredients are just thick by nature. And so you can kind of almost tell, I bet, it's... I mean, for lack of a better term, a little bit chunky. So I feel like it doesn't spread around as much, so you definitely need a lot to cover your whole body. But since it is so expensive, I mean, that's fine. Like, I would definitely repurchase it just when I run out. And the smell of this stuff is so good. Like, I thought it was just gonna smell like their coconut oil, but it smells like vanilla coconut cake. Yeah, doesn't it? It smells like buttercream. Yeah, like mm -hmm. coconut buttercream. It smells so good. So, I'll probably still keep buying the Righteous Butter, but I'll also be purchasing this because it's so inexpensive. I think it would make a great gift. I mean, it's I, I would probably give this like an 8 out of 10. I really do love it. Next up is some shave gel. It's Trader Joe's Shave Moisturizing Shave Cream for men and women. Honey mango flavor with aloe vera and vitamin E. Um, I, at first, I was kind of thrown aback by this because I'm used to like foamy shave gels where they're really foamy and you get a lot in your hand you kind of spread it around but this is like a pure cream so it's almost like a lotion and it's really thin and I also thought it would smell a lot more like mango scented like fake mango but it's a lot of a light it's a light scent and it's more natural mango which is a good thing I was just thrown thrown off but actually I've been using this now for like three months and this thing has lasted me like that long I think it was like four dollars and I really love it I'm gonna continue to buy it because because of the consistency I feel like you can get a really close shave and I don't I'm not a man obviously but if you have a beard or like you shave your face I feel like men would really love this because you can get such a close shave but it's not like too close where you're gonna like nick yourself like I've never nicked my armpits or my legs while using this. I think it works really, really well and it's a great value. You get eight fluid ounces and it's lasted me longer than any of the moussey type shave gels I buy at like Target. I think it's a really great deal. I would give it a, if we're doing a number system, yeah. I would give it also an eight out of 10. And I didn't do a number for my first um, moisturizing cream and that one I would probably give a seven out of 10. Next up is a candle. Yay. You guys know we love, well hopefully you know we love candles. They're like our obsession besides makeup. And we were so surprised. We went to Trader Joe's and they have like a seasonal table and they have these cute little candles so on cute. there. 
their Trader Joe's Cedar Balsam Scented Candle. It says, hand pour candle made with a natural coconut soy wax blend mixed with aromatic notes of warm cedar wood and sweet balsam, um, lead free cotton wick. And I mean, like it was $4. $4. Packaging is just pretty simple, but also like really nice because I feel like with like branded candles a lot of times they can be gaudy or I don't know you know you want them to like match your home decor so this kind of like blends in really nice just a side note about the packaging and it smells so good like it just yeah. smells like a Christmas tree it's so good it's like a pure pine Christmas tree scent yeah exactly it's, and I no used fake it. Notes. all of these products smell so natural pure. and pure yeah and which is just such a plus I've used this like a lot and as you can see like I'm not even close to the bottom so I personally think that soy wax candles last longer um, that's like in general I and they burn way. more even and they burn more even so the fact that we can find one that smells this good for four dollars definitely 10 out of 10 I yeah. we should go I have one too. stock up really I know because we think it's seasonal and they probably won't have them for too much longer yeah it's so good so this is the Nourish Herbal Blend Liquid Soap, lemongrass, wait, lemongrass and clary sage, and it's sulfate free. So a little backstory, my hands have been super dry because it's almost winter and obviously everyone gets dry. So I've been using bar soap instead of hand soap because every hand soap I've used has really dried out my hands. But this one says sulfate free and it says Nourish and it looks like it would be really nice. Um, not the case, I don't really like it, number one, the pump was completely broken when I got it and it wouldn't open so you couldn't pump it down and then I had my boyfriend try to fix it and he broke off the entire like inner part so now it's just the pump is just shot so we have to just pour it in our hands when we use it. I know I could have returned it and they totally would have accepted it but it's hard to go to Trader Joe's in Los Angeles. If you live here you know what I'm talking about yeah. so I'm not going to return it. But besides that, I just don't really like this soap. I don't think it's that gentle. Like I expect it to be more gentle. I don't think, I feel like it almost leaves a film. Like I don't really think it cleans my hands that well. And I don't absolutely love this scent. So overall, I'd give it like a five out of 10. I definitely won't repurchase. You get 12 fluid ounces and I think it was $4. So I feel like that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna try some of their other hand soaps and see if I like it better because this one just didn't do it for me. Uh, last up is the Trader Joe's Spa 100%, what does that say? 100% Australian, maybe? maybe? I don't know. Australian tea tree oil, oh yeah. An essential oil grown in Australia with inherent antiseptic qualities. And we use tea tree oil, I mean we always try to use natural ingredients as much as possible mm -hmm. just because it's just better for your skin and for your body. And Peach oil is really, really good at spot treating um, blemishes. Yeah, it's an antiseptic. So if you have like a scar or like an open wound or a blemish or something you need to disinfect, it's like a natural antiseptic and it works really well and it works fast, I feel like. Yeah. So if you put this on zits before you go to bed, it'll like, and it also dries it out. I don't know mm -hmm. how, but it does. Well, it's an oil, so that Yeah, it sense. dries it out and it definitely disinfects and <laughs> Sometimes when I have zits close to my lips, I'll put it on there and then it'll kind of get on my lip. And this stuff like makes your face numb. It's kind of creepy because... But it's natural, so it's fine. Yeah, it's natural. And also tea tree, tea tree oil, we've looked on Amazon. and you They're like really expensive, like eight to nine dollars. This is like four or five, I want to say. Or one ounce. Yeah, and we've had it forever and we've used it a lot and it, it's just totally... Like Trader Joe's is so cheap. <laughs> Yeah, they're it's, really good for like this stuff, like tea trial, and their spices are really inexpensive. By the way, that's not a beauty product, but uh, like that's like the only place we buy spices because they're so inexpensive. Yeah. So if you're in the market for any oils, definitely look at Trader Joe's. This tea tree oil is awesome. Ten out of ten for the price. Ten out of. 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and as always, remember to subscribe to our channel down below.